There's this guy who noticed a strange pattern with numbers, and he says it's bothered him ever since he was a little boy. So basically, this is how it goes. I'll say it is weird. One, two, three. One is comprised of all straight lines. Two is comprised of a curved line and then a straight line. And three is comprised of all curves. Okay, so you're with me. Four, five, six starts the pattern again. Four is comprised of straight lines. Five is straight lines and then a curved line. Then six is all curved lines. And then you go to the next set. You have seven straight lines, eight, and nine. Now, if you're looking at this on a piece of paper, you should see the pattern is messed up. It should be nine, eight. You have a straight line and a curved line and then an all curve. It's weird. The pattern should be seven, nine, eight. At least those symbols should represent the same thing. It's not like you're changing nine, eight's values. You just swap the symbols that represent those values. So there's a, a it seems like a, an interruption in the pattern of our numbers that we know today. But that's, that's using stereotypical aesthetics of numbers. What and, about the people who use dots? What about the people who have different formulations of writing or projecting the aesthetic of a number? Like yeah, if, this is just an American thing. Yeah, I was going to say, because some people may just use dots like a dice or something. Yeah, the value is still the same. It's just the, the, yeah, I get the what you're saying. symbols this, that this represent things. This only works things. within the construction of stereotypical aesthetics of a number. Yeah. yeah and that, and that nothing, if you write the number different, the value doesn't change, but if you write the number different, then this doesn't uh, flow out. Right. Okay. But there is this weird pattern. You yeah. have straight lines, a curved and a straight line. I see what you're saying. And then all curved. And then you have straight lines. Yeah, because so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have four is straight lines, five is a straight lines and a, two straight lines and a curve. Yeah. And then six is all curves. Yeah. yeah. And then seven is straight lines. Uh, eight you, is all curves. But it you should know, be technically, nine. Technically, if you think six is all curves, then you should say nine is all curves because nine is always written as an upside down six. Not always. You know, if you're playing Uno. Let's see. There, there's things to play here. It's only, the only question is, are we willing to play? And you can actually play with yourself too. You don't need another person. And what do you think about this? Do you think it's premeditated, the ones who made this? Kind of like how we say we need to spell the words out, but that's actually casting spells? Well, you make a good point that nine and six are usually just um, reverse split, but the uh, the way he wrote it on the board, um, he actually wrote the nine with a stick, and that's another way to write nine. Nobody writes six like that with a stick and then a circle. They only write nines like that, so... Well, eight also throws it off. Even if nine and six can just be reversed, yeah, I know. Eight so, throws yeah. off the pattern because it should be yeah, a straight. It should with be two a, straight lines and a curve. At least a straight line, a straight line and curves. Like two is just a straight line and a curve. Well, it's interesting though. I'm sure Alice will put it up so everybody can enjoy this beautiful aesthetic uh, conjecture. And that we shall. <laughs>